Evening, the Kern County Board of Supervisors approving an emergency project at the Lairdo Jail as guards work to keep inmates behind bars. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson joins us now outside of the sheriff's office where he found out what's being done to keep the facility secure. Brandon. Yeah, guys, one of the words that sticks out in that resolution is the word emergency. They're actually going to be skipping a step in order to install over 400 cell lock doors as quickly as possible to replace ones that inmates have figured out how to break. Uh, I've never seen this type of incident before. Chief Deputy Tyson Davis has seen a lot in 28 years with the Kern County Sheriff's Office, but this is new. A facility that's focused on keeping people in is having trouble with people getting out. Over half of our locks have been manipulated or broken and replaced in the last few months. The Lairdo pretrial jail facility in desperate need of some new locks for 448 security cell doors. It's not that the locks are old. Some were installed only a few years ago, but the technology is dated. They're 30 year old technology. And in that time, inmates have figured out how to manipulate the locks. The door appears is locked, and if you pull on the handle, the door won't open. But inmates can use a, an object to uh, manipulate the lock and open it. And that kind of information gets around fast. Inmates were actually uh, sharing information amongst, amongst the inmate population on how to uh, tamper with the locks or defeat the locks. Davis says that inmates across the nation have discovered the weakness in these types of locks, and the results of that knowledge can be seen at Lairdo. Since November of last year, there have been at least 112 incidents involving an inmate or a group of inmates opening doors, just like what happened during a large riot at Lairdo in February involving 120 inmates. Today, the Board of Supervisors approved Sheriff Youngblood's roughly $1.7 million resolution to replace 448 locks. The new ones will be more than twice the size and they'll be more secure, but they'll only be receiving 10 locks per week, meaning that this could take some time. I would believe it's going to take seven or more months. But Davis says that these new locks should do the trick, helping them get back to keeping people in. I don't believe that inmates will be able to manipulate the new system, and so I'm confident that this is uh, the solution to fix the problem. And we also spoke to the vice president of the Kern County Detention Officers Association. He says that while this work is needed, there's other work that needs to be done inside these facilities, too, since, according to him, employment and staffing, rather, inside of these facilities is at an all-time low. For now in Oildale, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.